Hello and welcome back to another one of my videos. So today I felt like sitting down and just painting something and about a month ago now I made a sketch of a church so I thought I need to paint that. <laughs> Let's paint that today. <laughs> so I'm sketching a church from a photo on Instagram. Um, it was taken by Evan Edinger who's a YouTuber and photographer. I've had it saved in my saved list on Instagram for about a year now and I decided a month ago that I need to get around and sketch that because I just really liked the lighting and the design of the the church so it's been on my to-do list for quite some time so today's the day that I got around and actually painted it. In the original picture there is a bit more of the church that I didn't include in this sketch mainly because I ran out of room on the paper and I thought I'm just going to take advantage of that tree in the foreground and use that to sort of cut off the picture. So if you've noticed oh she's like missed out half the church I ran out of paper basically I didn't really have much forethought when I was planning out the sketch. <laughs> So at the start of this painting I basically just laid down some simple tones of um, colours that I wanted the church to be. Especially for the church I was going for a brown and then sort of a yellowish brown. As you can see in the original photo the church has like sort of yellow detailing to it. Um, and I wanted to try and replicate that as well as I can. So I'm not going to ramble on for too long, but the main thing that I found when I was painting this was that I still really need to work on my shadowing. I don't know what it is, but at the moment I'm either not using the right shades or I'm just layering it too gently. Maybe I should just put on like a dark wash straight away. But the shadows that I try and create in these architectural sketches that I do, they're just not ticking the boxes at the moment. So it's a thing that I need to keep working on over time and I'll get there in the end but uh, yeah that was probably my only gripe with this one um, I feel like the roof probably needed more detail but roofs are another thing that I still struggle on I'm not entirely sure how much detail to put in and how much detail to leave out so I think to fix that I'll just need to study a lot of other people's artworks and try and replicate that in some way um, and see sort of what fits best with me. But overall, there were some moments when I was painting this where I was like, oh, I should probably scrap this now because <laughs> it felt like it was just getting worse and worse. But um, I stuck with it and at the end, I am actually quite happy with how it turned out, um, especially when you look at the painting as a whole and also compare it to the painting that's on the opposite page as well. It just, the this spread of the sketchbook so far looks very good, I think, for me anyway. Um, I'm quite pleased with how, like, yeah, those two pages have turned out next to each other. So yeah, I think that's about all I needed to say. I mean, I could ramble on throughout this whole video, but, but if I keep rambling then I may just drive you insane. So instead I will leave it there and you can watch the rest of the video in peace. <laughs> As always, thank you very much for watching, it means a lot, and I will see you again in another video. Bye!
Thank you.